Welcome to Game Pass Weekly, where we discuss all the titles coming to the service known as Game Pass. This show comes out every Tuesday, keeping you informed on the latest Game Pass releases. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. Coming to cloud console and PC today is Commandos 3 HD Remake. Commandos 3 sends you to the relentless and unforgiving battlefields of Europe. Remastered in high definition, including reworked 3D models and textures, improved controls, and refined UI. Fight your way through the deadly trenches of Stalingrad. Defeat the German enemy in the fanatical heart of the Third Reich in Berlin and use your tactical know-how to survive the storming of Normandy on D-Day. Next up, we have coming to cloud console, specifically the Series X and S, and PC today is Immortality. Marissa Marcel would have been a star. She made three movies, but none of them were ever released. And then Marissa Marcel disappeared. Explore lost footage, cut your own path into the mystery, and discover what happened to Marissa Marcel and the newest interactive game from Sam Barlow, creator of Her Story. I'm seeing a ton of really good reviews for this game. Normally, this would not interest me, but hey, it's on Game Pass, so why not? Coming to cloud console and PC today is the action-adventure third-person title Immortals Phoenix Rising. Immortals Phoenix Rising brings grand mythological adventure to life. Play as Phoenix, a new winged demigod, on a quest to save the Greek gods. The fate of the world is at stake. You are the gods' last hope. I played this game a while back during a free demo period, and I absolutely loved it. This is the type of Ubisoft game that I personally enjoy. And I think lots of Game Pass folks are probably going to dig this one. At least I hope so. So I think this is a great get for Game Pass. Coming to console and PC today is Tiny Kin. Milo arrives on Earth to find that he's way too small. Everybody's gone and a day hasn't passed since 1991. Team up with the mysterious Tiny Kin and use their unique powers to create ladders, bridges, explosions, and a lot more. Find a way home through a sprawling ant-sized metropolis and unravel Earth's biggest mystery. Gotta admit, this one is definitely on my radar. Big fan of 3D platformers, so hopefully this will be good. Last up, we have Grid Legends. Coming to console and PC via EA Play on September 1st. Grid Legends delivers thrilling wheel-to-wheel -wheel motorsport action. Create dream race events, hop into live races, experience a dramatic virtual production story, and embrace the sensation of spectacular racing. Little disclaimer here, keep in mind you must have Game Pass Ultimate to have access to EA Play games on the console, or you must have PC Game Pass. If you only have Game Pass for the console, you will not have access to EA Play games. I can tell you, I'm very excited to play uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising and try out Tiny Kin. Like I said earlier, I'm a fan of 3D platformers, and I know Tiny Kin was received really well by critics. So that's all the games that are coming out this week. There's a possibility that there's more games actually because um, Xbox Wire was supposed to send out um, a document today telling us what's coming out and they didn't. I don't know what the hell is going on with that, but it is what it is. Anyways, let's show you guys what is leaving the service this week. We got a lot of games that are leaving and I've seen some clickbait articles saying this is the worst week for Game Pass ever, which is ridiculous because they're just concentrating on what's leaving and not talking about 
what's replacing what's leaving, which is some awesome games in my opinion. So it's clickbait crap. Don't pay attention to that stuff anyways. Um, let us know what you've been playing uh, from Game Pass. If any games we talked about today are piquing your interest. On that note, I'll see you next week for more Game Pass news. Thanks for watching Game Pass Weekly.